This is the third generation Suzuki Swift, which is scheduled to be launched in the UK this June. But before we jump in and have a drive, I just wanna have a quick chat about its design because it's a bit of a weird one. You can tell something's radically different, but it's quite hard to put your finger on it. It's almost like a comic book inker is traced over the lines of the old Swift in big black pen to accentuate its lines a bit more, especially when it comes to these headlights and this new grille. And you've also got blacked out pillars all around and some nifty little hidden door handles. And overall, I think it makes it look a bit sportier. Well, I guess a more appropriate way would be more up to date and modern. But why the sudden upsurge in sportiness and style? Well, Suzuki's now got the Baleno, which takes care of the sensible super mini side of things. And that frees up the Swift to be a bit more daring. In fact, the Swift is actually based on the same platform as a Baleno, which means it's now 120 kilograms lighter, it's 15 millimeters lower, it's 40 millimeters wider, and it's only available in a five door. So on the outside, you may just think it's more of a facelift. Well, let's see what lies beneath. Now, usually when you climb inside a Suzuki, it feels like a Suzuki, especially with the Swift, with its light doors and its almost die-cast model-esque dashboard. But it doesn't feel like that anymore. It feels much more in line with its Super Mini competition. And it's the little things that make the difference, like the new sportier flat-bottom steering wheel. You've also got these round air vents here, new aircon setup down here, and you've got a new 7-inch touchscreen, which comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And according to Suzuki, you can use this screen wearing gloves. And as if we weren't going to test it. So, leather glove. Works fine. Wool. Yep, that works as well. And then obviously the oven mitt, which every driver should carry with them at all times. And that works as well. So, nice one Suzuki, and you're wrong. You can use it with two gloves and an oven mitt. Now, although the new Swift is 10 millimeters shorter, the wheelbase is actually 20 millimeters longer, which overall makes for a bit more wiggle room. And in fact, there's actually 23 millimeters more headroom due to these rear seats being lowered slightly. And I also like the fact that you can put your feet in front of the seat in front. But it's not just that. The boot's also bigger, 54 liters bigger in fact, with 254 liters in total to play around with. As well as being based on the Baleno's underpinnings, it also utilizes the same engine. So there's an entry level 89 brake horsepower, 1.2 litre dual jet petrol, but there's also a brilliant little 1 litre 3 cylinder turbo booster jet petrol, which, although it's only got 109 brake horsepower, is a great little engine with loads of personality. Now, the engine we're driving today is the 1 litre booster jet SHVS, and like I said before, this little one litre has got loads of personality. When you're on a country lane, dropping down a gear and feeling the turbo spool up, it's great, you can have loads of fun. And even when cruising on the motorway, put it in fifth gear and it'll just happily cruise along. Now, although the addition of the new one litre booster jet and the mild hybrid system is great news for the Swift, it's never really been about the engines. It's always been about how fun it was to drive. So what's the new model like? Well, I'm glad to say it is more of the same. I mean, this car has got so, it's got so much personality behind the wheel. I mean, it's not as adept to drive as the Fiesta or the Mazda 2 on a country lane, but it's still happy to be chucked about a bit and it feels confident doing so. And the steering is nice and direct too. Suzuki have yet to announce UK pricing, but a big part of the Swift's appeal has always been its low price tag, so expect it to start from around the £9,000 mark. And following the launch of the standard model, you can also expect Suzuki to launch the Swift Sport, a warm hatch version of the standard model with 140 brake horsepower. But until then, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, stay up to date on all the latest videos we release, and make sure you let us know what you think of the new Swift in the comments section below.